But I wanted the money because I was going to buy a van with it, and then I did, and then I lost the van. You understand it was for school, right? Yeah. It was to invest in your education. You were going to use it to buy a van? Yes. And then what happened? And then I lost the van. I'm going to My name is Gia. I'm 25 years old. I'm from Sacramento, California, and this is Financial Audit. You're 25? Yeah. Why? Do I look younger? No, it's not about looks. It's about... What's in front of me and everything I've learned oh. about before? You're too young for this. I am. Yeah, I kind You're... of started when I was 20. I got into a hole. A hole's an understatement, my dude. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, usually I have some pleasantries and everything, but it's just hearing your age right there, really. I was just, regardless of looks or anything, I was just hoping. Well, I don't know what I would, because I wouldn't want anyone in this situation. I just think. Immediately throwing your life away too young, but it, okay, it's okay. Okay, well, I don't think I'm that young. Let's be real now. I know, but it just it just hurts someone in their twenties. It would hurt any decade. So I guess I don't know why that age stuck out to me. It's just something just in my heart. I'm like, <laughs> because your finances are a mess. There's not a crazy amount of documents. But your finances are a mess. Your life is a mess. It's a true mess. And I need this to be the conversation that changes your life around because from everything I've learned about you before this show, from everything from our producers and everything, I, I'm, I'm legitimately scared for you. And this is like, a, this needs to be a desperate, desperate attempt at a wake up call for you because I, I'm sorry, you're kind of f everything up. Yeah. And yeah. you're living off of begging for money on Twitter. Yeah. Twitter and desperately holding on to a husband that's technically not even an ex at this point, but is not together <laughs> yeah. and is sending you money. So I got I'm gonna, to Texas. I'm going to take that as a cope laugh. Yeah. I'm going to take that as a cope laugh because, like, this is no way to live. And more than that, and this is the one that just stabs a knife through my heart. You're homeless right now, yep. living in your car, barely got the repairs necessary to come out here and you really wanted to come out here. So you did it and then you drove through the north uh, from the northwest. Yeah. And I'm still continuing to drive it because I have to do DoorDash. DoorDash? DoorDash. That's how I make my money. <laughs> kind of, except for the e-begging on Twitter. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And taking money from the husband. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, I mean, the husband situation is kind of like iffy, like we're kind of together, kind of not. He, like, I don't live with him. He lives in Pennsylvania, and I don't want to move to Pennsylvania. 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 And so uh, he wants me to move back and be together, but I don't really want to. I'm trying to find a state where I can, like, stay. Like, I don't want to be in my car forever. But, like, my end goal is to go back to Kansas and live in Kansas but I can't do that Kansas. yet. So to be clear, you're married, but you do not want to be with your husband. Yes. Oh, happy Valentine's Day, by the way, Caleb. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Uh, it's also my birthday. <laughs> Is it? Happy birthday. Super exciting. Uh, birthday wish for me, honestly, is to make you a little less... Uh, homeless? Um, yeah. Would be preferred uh, if I have one birthday where uh okay but again with your husband but you don't want to be with your husband yeah are you using him for money i'll be flat out honest no. because he sends you money he sends me money now but like cause i've been with him for a while he only just started working so the money just started coming in cool i don't i mean you waited for him to work in to start taking money from someone that you're not even with but you're technically married to when did you guys get married 2018. Uh, what the f So what's going on with this whole thing? With the, the marriage? The marriage. Yeah. Uh, so I kind of took care of him for four years. and Because uh, oh, so? we lived in Kansas City, and I was getting money in Kansas City. And so I was kind of taking care of him because he didn't want to work, and I was working. I was doing Amazon at the time. And so I feel like me taking the money from him now is, what, like, you know, recovering from taking care of him. But... I just, I can't take care of a man child. Why are you guys together? Why are you guys together? I liked him at one point. Liked him at one point? And then I like, why the f are you guys still together right now? I'm not a marriage okay. counselor, but like, why the f? 
Because he has all my things. He has all my things, and he will throw my things away if I... If like. you get divorced? That's toxic as f***. That's, that's why I don't want to be with that's him. That's borderline abusive. Yeah, because I, I had a minivan, and I went and visited him like a few months ago. And I lost the minivan because I got in an accident. And so all of my possessions were in this van. I had to bring him into his house. So now I'm like working towards getting back to Pennsylvania to get my things so I can move on with my life. Okay. Um, so what are you going to do when he's not giving you money? Well, what I want to do is find a job around here. I, here? Like around Austin. What is this? You're so confusing. You are all over the place. I am. You're like, I'm very okay, fickle. Right now I'm in the Northwest. I want to live back in Kansas. Let me get a job in Austin. Well, what? I can't live in Kansas. Why? Because I have a warrant. What the f? I have a warrant. What the f? Why? Guys, it's a new year and you need to make your money work for you. You can do exactly what I literally do right now and put my money in the best high yield savings account, SoFi. I get a 4.6% yield on my money and I also took advantage of the bonus of up to $250 when I signed up. You can start 2024 off amazing by doing the same by going to the link in the description below. That's why? Sorry. A failure to appear in court. So why? They got, so they got me one time and I went to jail for four days. Got you for what? A uh, failure to appear. Huh? Failure to appear. This is when I was still living in Kansas. I yeah, what, what, what did you need to appear for? Oh, because uh, I was driving on a suspended license. And so I got two tickets for that because he caught me leaving. So he got me again. Caught 20... you leaving? Cause, okay, so I got pulled over by the highway patrol. And he was like, you can't leave. You can't move this car. Your tags are bad and your license is bad. So you're going to figure out something out. And I don't know people in Kansas like that. I was on my way to school. So I sat there for 20 minutes thinking he left. I hopped on the freeway. He followed me and I stopped again. He gave me another ticket. Girl, what the f***, dude? And then why did you go to court? I don't know why. I don't know why I didn't go to court. Uh, Have you done a responsible thing in your life? Just flat out. I mean, just through everything I've looked at and through everything you've said so far, we're, we're only a few minutes into this. Kill me. Have you ever done a responsible thing in your life? Just like, who am I dealing with here? Does graduating high school count? <laughs> sure. Does going to college count? Well, did you complete college? No. Okay. What did you go to school for? Uh, film production. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And how long did you go to school? About a year. Uh-huh. All right. I mean, I dropped out. But I dropped out for reasons that I thought were pretty strategic. I was starting to make more money, and I was just like, I'm not going to spend time in here, you know. Well, I dropped out because I had to leave Kansas. For the warrant? Yeah. Why didn't you just do with it? Because I don't want to go to jail for two months. I don't want to go to jail for two months. Did, did you at least, first of all. They said minimum one month, and I had six counts. Two who said minimum one month? The, the judge. judge. Okay. So you, wow. You can step a foot in Kansas, and that's a risky move for you. Yeah, but I really want to go back. I love Kansas. I don't think I've. Ever, I don't think anyone's ever said that in their life. I love Kansas. Why? I just love the plains. I love farmland. I love the people. Go to Iowa. No, it's full of corn. I don't. I want. Well, that's what I thought Kansas was. No, but. no, no, no. Kansas is just flat, completely flat. You could see into the distance. There's like really not really many like. Uh, like I, corn it's just like fields and like sunflowers right then just do two months in jail i'm working on that what go on what do you mean i want to get my things together first before i go back to kansas so then i can like drop my car off somewhere turn myself in and just deal with it but then by the time i get out all my things will be fixed and i'll have my car still because i need to fix my license situation you need to fix a lot okay so we've, we've gone down tangents already and this is like we haven't gone first of all okay for someone who's homeless sometimes sometimes there's choice things sometimes there's addiction sometimes there's mental health things so i need to make very clear going off the gate do you do you deal with any kind of addictions i smoke weed. does that count but potentially uh, potentially it really depends on the individual a lot of people you know they can just use it rec recreationally like alcohol and not have an issue but of course just like anything some people can become dependent and we're seeing that more and more these days than before um and you do smell like so uh, but i i don't think 
well, would you associate your homelessness with that? No. I'm assuming no. Yeah, I wouldn't think so either. No. Uh, so I had like an interest in doing van life. But since I have this car, I'm just doing like car camping. And I figured I can just do... Is it that or because you can't afford to live? I mean, you're not doing both. anything. You're begging on Twitter for money. Yeah. It's kind of both. I like, I can't justify paying $1,400 a month for rent when I can take... Do you want to live in your car? I want to live in my van. I don't like this car that I have now. But if I had a minivan again... How are you going to afford that? You don't do anything. You drive DoorDash here and there. Uh, Total income that came in that we saw was $144. And it was through Cash App. How the f*** do you get a van? How the f*** do you get a place to live? You're living like a child. Okay, so no, 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 no. Then I need to ask the next question just to make sure that it's not for any reasons that are beyond your control at this point. Do you have any major mental health issues that is preventing you from, like, working? Like, some people, like... Like, when I get a job, I have panic attacks at, like, work. Not so much the work aspect, but, like, I don't... I'll wake up one morning and be like, do I really want to go? And then I'll start freaking out. And I just okay, won't. so anxiety. Okay, yeah. well, that can hurt with a job, and I deal with that myself personally, so I can relate to that. Um, that's typically not the mental health that we're talking about when it comes to homelessness. You, you know, usually we're talking about major schizophrenia or there's a lot of other things but anxiety itself yes that can be very difficult with a job and hopefully a job is understanding not every job will be and of course have you seen therapists for that when i was younger okay well yeah that's something that you know whether it's potential medication or therapy or whatever that's something that obviously i would want you to deal with but would you associate again that with your homelessness no my homelessness is basically just me taking risks risk you're not doing anything what i was when i was in portland what about now okay well now i just got to texas i've been door dashing since i got wait you live here no i don't live here i just got here like two days no 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 no, no. this last month 144 dollars came in and it was cash app only you're not doing anything oh okay so that was when i was in california and i tried what are you oh I, i live my family lives in california so i was staying with my mom at the time and I was applying for jobs out there, and I wasn't getting anything back. And DoorDash out there sucks. So I can't... Why? The market's oversaturated. Like, I'll go online, I won't get a single order. Do you not understand where you're at in, at 25 and just how bad this is? We, I know we haven't put numbers to the screen for people yet, but... I guess, yeah, we should start going through things because I, I have more insight into your situation than they do, and they need to know. Give yourself a financial score 0 to 10. 2? It's a zero. I'll say that now. <laughs> yeah, not, not something I'd laugh at, but just going to assume it's a cope laugh. Collections, two things. Late payments of 30 days, seven. Late payments of 30 days older than the last year, seven. Yeah, I had a bunch of credit cards. Accounts when I... always paid as agreed 36%? That's just being a child. Pay your bills. Why aren't your bills paid? Because I don't have money. Because? Because I don't work. Yeah. So you're being a child. Maybe. I don't know. I feel like I'm doing fine. I'm happier in life. I don't give a shit if you're happy. You're not paying your bills. Of course I give a shit if you're happy, but that's not what I mean in this context. It's you're not paying your bills. That's not that's not everything. I pay some bills. Like my phone. My phone's important. I'd say all your bills are important. You're literally like choosing not to. Okay, whatever. What's your credit score? Like two? Last time I checked, I think it was like Utilization's five. at 162%. What the f***? I haven't touched, because I maxed out all my credit cards, and I haven't touched, like, anything of it. Because I had an ex, and his mom was telling me, well, if you wait seven years, it'll fall off. Yeah, it'll fall off your credit. So she was like, you know, just kind of leave it alone. Yeah, for how long I have you been? It's been two years now okay so five years so you don't plan to take advantage of credit in any way whatsoever what if your car breaks what if you need to borrow to get a car you don't have any money you don't you won't be able to I get don't a car i don't want to finance a car what money do you have that will get you a car and you'll literally only live in a car your only income stream is in a car what do you do if the car breaks you already put money into the car because you wanted to get here so like what the f- I like mean, what if, if it breaks 
I have people around that could help. Like what? Mechanics. Uh, Here? Yeah, in Texas. That you know? Yeah. And they'll do it for free? Yeah. Okay, what? Really? Yeah. I don't know, man. I'm very good at networking. Very good at taking advantage of people's kindness? No, networking. I'm not going to do it completely for free. It's more like... What do you uh, mean? You have... We haven't gotten there yet. Spoiler alert. Negative money. (laughs) Ha ha ha. I make some things with DoorDash and I would offer to like pay them like, you know, not pay them, but like buy them food. No, but what if what ever happens to your car isn't just a small little thing what if it's a major repair what if it's a thing that costs a lot of money so you're expecting someone else to pay for it for you through buying the thing buying whatever is necessary and then doing no, the I labor would buy it. with what money the money that people give me <laughs> is this a joke to you no your life is not a joke right now you're playing it like it's a sad joke but it is not you're gonna regret this mindset and everything you're in all these choices all this crap i feel like i'm still young enough to make mistakes so that's the thing i feel like the mistakes you're doing now are drastically holding you back in the future you're kicking this on the road you can't take advantage of any credit if you need to because you've just ruined everything you're also being irresponsible and immoral by not taking care of the bills that you chose and signed a contract to take out and also For any sense of retirement or existing in the future, you're literally just being, you're just giving up the best decade of, for compound growth in your life. And at this point, you're probably going to give up your second best decade and potentially third because you're just kicking the can down the road and your mindset is so terrible that this isn't a quick overnight change. This isn't something like, oh, I'm a responsible adult. I have a place to live. I'm actually working a job and contributing to a 401k. That's not something that just happens overnight. So I don't see this just changing by the end of your 20s. I don't see it changing in your 30s. This is a lifestyle that you're comfortable with. You're happy so because of this happiness, you feel content and you're okay with it, and you're literally just going to die in poverty, and that's unacceptable to me. That's beyond unacceptable. At least I'm out and about. It's not like I'm sitting around doing nothing. Like, I've gone to 12 different states last year in my car. Okay. Like, I travel around. Like, I'm not... I, you cool, you just, travel! Yes, but... What the f*** does that have to do with anything I just said? That cool. I have money. Like, how do you? How can I travel without what? money? Because you're e-begging. And DoorDash. Ninety-one dollars in collections. There are ninety-seven dollars. Dude, these things are things that we can take care of in like a second. These are things we can take care of in a second. Ninety dollars. Ninety dollars. This is such an immature, stupid. Stu- oh, oh, the choices you're making are just beyond. Ninety dollars? You know what I could use ninety dollars for? Gas and food. <laughs> I mean, ninety dollars is a lot to me. Exactly to you because you're not working. Ninety dollars right here. Ninety. It's not an insignificant amount of money. Don't get me wrong, but if ninety dollars is a make or break for life, that shows that the life you're living is unacceptable. Maybe. I'm not saying $90 isn't a lot of money. It is. If you go spend $90 at a restaurant, that's a lot of money. But if it's literally your survival comes down to $90. Another collection, $67. $644. Okay. Now that's a lot. That's that's not something that's less like, okay, we could just do that. $228. Same with that. $397. Secured loan. Uh, there's, I don't know what the... F- there's no balance, reported balance. This is all 2020. You just gave up in 2020. 3,222. Yeah. This was when I had a bunch of credit cards because I had uh, I had opened a few credit cards when I was uh, 21. So your strategy then was to live your like lazy lifestyle of just not giving a because you're content based off of credit cards. Okay. And then you could no longer do that because you maxed them out and you had to let them go. And now no one's going to give you credit. So now your new thing is begging from the husband that you don't even like and don't even want to see and want to leave. We'll see if he sees this. And then <laughs> um, the e-begging off of Twitter and then running DoorDash if you have to, but you didn't even do it in that last month. And not to mention the actual sad fact, and we're not going to talk much about her, but the sad fact is you have a daughter. Yeah. I need to know just for safety, where does she live? With my mother. And the mom, your mom takes care of her. Yeah. It tries to. Yeah. Oh, come on. You can't give any shame to that. You're living in your car and choosing not to work. 
Okay, but she lives in a hotel. Better than a car. Has child services been involved? Because they might. No, I pray that that's not going to be okay. She's about to move into an apartment soon. So Good. Okay, good. Because it is not fair for someone that did not have the choice to be brought in this world to be... Your choices are disgusting, to be very clear. Your choices are disgusting when it involves someone that you are morally responsible to take care of. You're choosing to be happy and content, making nothing and e-begging instead of taking care of your responsibility. Well, I've tried. I've tried. When I lived in Kansas, I had a house. I had a job. My mom, she's just... This no, is a whole no, 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 no. Do not blame this on your mom. You chose... Not to have your registration updated and your license updated. Then you chose not to deal with the consequences. Then you had to flee Kansas. You didn't even have to. You could have dealt with the consequences. No, but this you was before. Chose to flee. This was before all this happened. Tell me then. Because this, like, licensing only just happened last Tell year. Tell me then. Tell you what? I, oh, you said this happened before. What? Oh, the license. Like, I wanted to take my daughter before all of this happened. Like, I was doing good in Kansas. What's all good? Th- Tell me what good was. I had my own apartment. I had a job. And what happened? And my mom still wouldn't let me take her. Well, I I mean, I'm only going to hear your side of it, but, I mean, there was likely a reason. She thinks I can't take care of her, not money-wise, but, like, because my daughter's on the spectrum. Yeah. And she just doesn't, my mom just doesn't trust me. It's well, just, even money-wise and trust-wise, I at least get it now just with the what you've showed us demonstration-wise. I I gave up. Yeah, yeah, this is this is the you have given up beyond belief, right? Yeah. Is that where we are now? You've just given up in life? Cuz that's what I'm seeing. Kind of, yeah. Sort of. I want to find a job out here, <laughs> but like I'm still going to be living in my car. What work experience do you have? Warehousing. Okay. Amazon, UPS, uh, Walmart. Uh I've worked at a liquor store. I've worked at, like, a Love's Travel Stop. Okay, if you show up and don't smell like you have an adequate resume, which we could help you with, yes, you could get a warehousing job here pretty easily, I think. Potentially. I don't like warehousing, though. What like, I'll, I'll do it. You? I'll do it for, like, a week or two, and then it's like... You, you said you wanted a job. We asked what jobs you're good at. You said that, and that's what your experience is. So what job do you want? I want something around like media and cameras. Like I was supposed to be going to this film, uh, this movie shoot in California, like to be a movie extra. And then that flopped. But I'm trying to do like photography or like videography or something. That's why I went to school for film production. Oh, good. (laughs) Oh, my gosh. A woman can dream, right? I think I'm really. Yeah, but a woman could also. Grow the f*** up and put a roof over her head. And take care of her own child. I don't want a house, Caleb. A house? I don't... A, or a, a roof doesn't make a, mean a house. House, apartment, bed, even, I even, don't... Even the van, dude. If you wanted to live in the van, we could at least do that. But right now, you're living in a... In a thing you hate that's breaking down. So it's called growing the f*** up. And then 2250 education. This is student loans. I just did those uh, last semester. That's cause what I was, do you mean you just did them? The loans, I just applied for those. Oh, good. So I had the financial aid Why? and then I got the Why? I Why? You weren't in school, were you? I was. It was online school. In 2023? Yeah. For what? Film production. That was for film production? Yeah. But I wanted the money because I was going to buy a van with it, and then I did, and then I lost the van. You understand it was for school, right? Yeah. It was to invest in your education. You were going to use it to buy a van? Yes. And then what happened? And then I lost the van. I'm going to f***ing die. I only had the van for two months. Because you crashed it. Yeah. There was no insurance on it? Um, no. But it's also, it wasn't registered to me because I just bought it and it was a salvage What tech. are you? This is like the most irresponsible f- everything I've ever heard in my life. How have you not learned your lesson? The van, if that was the first time that ever happened, that's like... Wouldn't excuse it, but I mean that I would be like, okay, maybe she's just ignorant to the system. You got f-ing arrested and needed to show up to court by not having things properly registered and uh, or licensed and everything. So you'd think you'd learn. I'm afraid that through all this we can come up with some kind of plan, but you won't have learned. You're just immature, or you just don't give it. F-. You already told me you gave up, so I guess that's that. I just don't care. I'm just kind of living life one day at a time. Okay, cool. 
you've given up, right? To be clear, you've given up, right? Yeah. Okay, so what's next then? What's next in your life? You've given up, so what now? You're just done? You're going to die in a ditch? Is that what you want? No, I want to continue traveling around. I'm going to Georgia after this. So you do care? I care a little bit. Okay, and your priorities in caring is traveling. That's your passion? Okay, can we do that in a correct way, though? Because you could travel in a much more secure way where your life's not in danger through these things breaking down in a legally proper way, in how, a financially healthy way. How can I do that if I have a job, though? Because if I have a job, then I'm stuck in one place. I know. I know. It, it's called growing up and taking a little bit of responsibility at first. If we do that, we might have to work a lot save up, have a fully funded emergency fund, contribute to your retirement, take advantage of vacation policies, or take time off even if not paid by saving up properly and doing this in the correct way and then being able to take that time to actually go travel. You'll be traveling less, but when you travel, it'll be in a more responsible way. And then in the future, if we get to a point where you're able to just save up, you're able to work and work your way up through um, different career positions to where there's more vacation time maybe even unlimited pto where you can really take the vacations you want lots of jobs offer those um you know that's an avenue we can take but also this traveling you're going to do is going to be so limited it's going to be so limited if you if you keep getting arrested if these things that you're going is an illegal way if that car breaks down you're not going to be able to do it if you're not going to be able to retire and you're literally um uh gosh you get to a point where you're disabled or something like you won't be able to travel if you don't take care of yourself now in a financially responsible way in a legally responsible way this is such you're, you're just getting the temporary high of the travel i'm starting to get sick of it that's why i was like i kind of want to stay around like austin and get a job that's completely contra contradicting everything you just said i know it's, I'm i'm very fickled i'm very fickled i don't like planning i'm very spontaneous yeah but also, I don't care what you like. There's a lot of things I like yeah. that I have to put my responsibilities over because I live in this world and I'm an adult and that comes with responsibilities. So be a f adult. Working sucks, though. I don't like to work. So how am I supposed to make money otherwise? I do door Do you remember it. when I just said I don't give a you like it's called being an adult or did that somehow just did that complicated airflow but if i don't like it then i'm not gonna stick with it that's the thing why they told you the anxiety i panic okay okay then with that if it's a mental health thing like that that's where i need you to seek therapy mental health help take advantage of local resources i need you to take advantage uh, crisis helplines in those moments i need you to make sure the workplace is fully aware i need you to potentially talk to a psychiatrist or a potential medication you know it there's different methods work for different people i don't believe in medication all right well and therapy is like kind of a waste of time for me i've been oh my through gosh therapy. what are you so you've get, yeah, you really have given up because you just you won't do anything. What's the point of you know there's an issue and there have there's methods that have helped other people through painstaking long processes, including myself. If you're not willing to at least give things a shot, what's the point? I know you went through it with childhood, but that's that's different. You're an adult now. You have the ability to make more choices, take advantage of different resources, and your communication style is likely improved. But I don't know. You're kind of acting like a child here, so maybe not. But – I mean, I'm willing enough to get a job out here, but I can't say I'm going to keep it for a while. Then what's the point? A little bit of money is a little bit of money. I'm just thinking about your longevity, dude. Then we have more in collections, more in collections. What's even the point? 246 here, $400 here. Great. Great. <laughs> what? Nothing. Just <laughs> nothing. Dude, I'm sad. This is sad. Yeah. I'm working on it. I mean, if you walk away from this conversation with anything, it, it'll probably be nothing at this point. Hopefully people can get help out there. This is, I just don't think you're going to walk with anything away with anything because you're so closed off and you've given up and you're immature and you need to seek mental health help. That's what's going to happen. But we'll at least provide you our resources. So we'll give you access to our budgeting program. Uh, so that'll help, which 
Um, by the way, at the time of releasing this video, it's actually at a President's Day discount all the way through Monday. So take advantage of it. It's at a big discount all the way through the weekend, all the way through Monday. And I'll link in the description below. But you get it for free because you're on the show. Uh, Thank so you. at least take advantage of that. Uh, maybe some education will help. But, I mean, you dropped out the school immediately for something you loved and you weren't you didn't have a logical reason for dropping out. So it's like, will you even make it through our program? <laughs> but you'll have access to it. So. I'll try my best. I'll try your best. What does that even mean? What even is your best? Do you even know? Uh, maximum speed limits is what you were driving. while license is canceled, suspended. Operating a vehicle without registration. Failed to surrender registration. Driving while license is suspended. I thought we already saw that. Uh, oh, it's because it's a different date. Vehicles operating without registration again. Oh my gosh, that was the 28th. And then... So I got two tickets. A few months later, earlier, was maximum speed limit. Operating without registration. Why didn't you go to get a registration in between these? At least? Okay, so when I the car that I had, it was financed. And I didn't pay it off... So they were holding my title in California, so I couldn't get it registered in that, that, Kansas. That's not how that worked. People, people, I moved down here with a financed car, and it was registered. The title was in Michigan. It was registered in Michigan. And then I got it registered in Texas, and I got a license in Texas. People move. Did you pay it off, though? No. You don't have to pay off a car to get it registered in a new state. Oh, what, what do you mean? Oh, did you not even just ask anyone? Ever, literally anyone who's ever moved does this because most people have their car financed. This is like one of the most basic things. Sorry, I don't want to shame you if you were like completely ignorant to it. But also maybe I'll shame you a little bit because that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. So I can't decide. It was some shady like car lot though. So it wasn't like a yeah, proper. Who was your loan through though? I don't know the car lot. Mm-hmm. I paid three thousand up front, and uh, they accepted my DoorDash. Most places don't accept DoorDash as a a form of income. Oh gosh, gosh, gosh! Yeah, your Hammer Financial score might be negative at this point, which isn't even possible. <laughs> you can get yours for free. Hammer Financial score in the link below. By the way, it's pretty fun. This is insane. This case has been referred to collections. Please contact the firm. Okay. So you still owe court fees. You have California court fees. For yeah. what? Okay, so when I got this... How does this continue? How is this still happening? Okay, so when I had this car, uh, me and my ex were going to the store to get, like, a drink. And I was turning, and California traffic is so bad, I thought someone was waving me to go through because I was trying to cut into the parking lot. And I turned, and I got hit by a probation officer. Oh, my goodness. The dent is still in my car. And? From the probation officer. And? and I didn't have insurance. What's the court fee for? Uh, the no insurance. Right. Yo, court fees in Pennsylvania too. That was when I got, what that's when this? I lost my van. That was also for no insurance. Oh. Why are you here? Why are you here? Genuinely, why are to you here? try and get some sort of like. What do you mean? I've talked about a few things here and you've been receptive to nothing. You've shut down. You've given up. What can I do to actually help you? I want you to walk away with something, and of course you'll get our resources, but besides that, what can I f do right here to help you? Shame me into doing something, I guess. Well, I hope that is something that actually helps you, and not just a kink, because, like, I need... This is, this is disgusting. So if shame is what works for you, and it works for some, it works for me. These are the conversations that would have helped me. It wouldn't work for some, and that's why they're not on the show, which is okay. Look, I'll go apply to jobs after I leave here. Huh? I'll go apply to jobs yeah, after I leave you here. Self-admitted, you'll probably be there for like a week or two. But I'll try and tough it out. Try? No, you won't, because trying requires, if you know what your mental health issue is, for the job, you go and get therapy and whatever whatever sorry that was i'm genuinely upset okay. are you feeling a bit dirty are you a s for index funds like me or maybe you prefer bdsm bonds dividends stocks mutual funds if that sounds like you 
Your finance daddy is only giving you these exclusive designs through the end of this month, and then they go away. And if it's not for you, you can eat my assets. Get your Dirty Money shirts, mugs, posters, stickers, and sweatshirts before time runs out at the end of this month. Go to shop.calebhammer.com forward slash dirty or click the link in the description below. You said you'd be willing us to show us your living conditions, and I, I, I need a break from this right now because I'm actually really devastated. My brain and heart aches, and this is... So let's th let's take a look at your My car's situation. kind of a mess, so... Oh, I apologize. I don't know. You, I mean, you, yeah. I mean, you told us, yeah. <laughs> oh, we may as well see because it's, uh, and of course, if you want us to, whatever. I don't know. I, 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 I don't know. You, you brought it up as something we could do, so we may as well do it. And I guess it gives us more context around your living situation, and it helps people out there to hopefully avoid your situation. But I don't want to also put someone's thing on blast. But whatever. Let's take a look. This is my car. It's kind of a mess right now. What was the thing that was broken that you had to get the, fixed? Oh, I don't have it fixed yet. I had to get my brakes fixed. That's but so I'm scary. riding I'm riding on a broken axle, so when I turn you can hear clicking oh, and it shakes. You're putting your life at risk. There's been many instances of people who I are it from the other side. Uh, women living in their cars, which have led to dangerous situations in the past. Yeah, I'm a large woman. All I'm saying is your safety matters. Man, I'm scared for your safety. I mean, you're driving with a broken axle. I this am. car's about to fall apart but, yeah. in every way. This is my home right now. I'm so scared for you. I don't know. We have a cash app spending thing. <laughs> that Nothing was what in I was... There. 240 came in, 243 left. So, great. More left than came in. You're also paying people via Cash App. Jack in the Box? I mean, yeah, it's, that's a good question. So we we know how you sleep and how you live, and I guess you probably bathe at... Planet Fitness or friends' houses. Yeah. How do you eat? Uh, I just kind of like McDonald's, Jack in the Box. I just bought a camping stove, but that's in Pennsylvania because I wanted to start, like, going to Walmart and buying, like... Why is it in Pennsylvania? Because that's where all my stuff is. Because that's where I lost my van. There's also the health aspect. And I'm dealing with this myself. But, like, McDonald's for every meal. Well, I don't dude. eat a whole lot. I haven't really eaten since I, like, got here. I went to Whataburger one time, and that was probably about it. It's been, like, three or four days. Uh, okay. I don't want to go down that rabbit hole. But the reason for that Jack in the Box is when I was staying with my mom at the hotel, the Jack in the Box was the only thing around in the parking lot. So I'd go and I would get like tacos or like, cause there's no kitchen at the hotel. I can't cook. Okay, check in the box. Twitter pay fee. Someone sent you forty three dollars. Yeah. So I, who are I, your simps? Who are these simps? No, 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 no. That's my ad revenue. I'm monetized on Twitter. How many followers do you have? Twenty two hundred. How am I not monetized? What the? F am I? Have you tried applying for it? You oh, can just maybe apply I am. for it. No, I think you need to meet at a certain threshold. You met you those just, thresholds? Yeah. You just need 5 million impressions, 500 followers, something else. I had 34 million impressions at one point, so they kind of like... Why? How? Uh, reply guy. What? I just reply guy. Like, I just reply to big accounts. And so with the check mark, it boosts you up. So people like, you know... You played the system. $43 isn't going to... I know. Is it visible? Visible? That's my film service. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jack in the box again and Zynga, like gems and bullshit. We're paying for phone apps instead of a roof over our head. That's a joke. That's a joke. I don't know what that's from because I don't play with phone apps. Come on, no. Zynga's a mobile game app. But how much did uh, I spend company. on it? Well, that was two dollars ninety nine cents. But again, oh. you, you brought in thirty dollars or whatever. So no, that's for my Google. My Google One subscription to like have storage for my Google. Zynga though? Jack in the box. RNA Enterprises. RNA Enterprises. Uh, CMS Vend. Oh, yeah, that's vending the vending machine. machine at the hotel. Oh, uh, drink water from the f tab. Jack in the box. Uh, oh, sorry, I went up. Nope, no, nope, yeah, there is another Jack in the box. Anyway, and there's the vending machine, vending machine. So, why aren't you with your mom in the hotel anymore? She doesn't want me there. Why? What happens when you guys are together? 
we fight all the time. She's a very toxic person. That's why I, don't, I can't be around her. I can't be in California in general. Something tells me you only put blame on other people because no. that's all I've ever heard from anything you've ever said. No, I promise you. And anyone that knows me can like attest to this. My mom is just not a good person. I've been doing some serious reflection on where I want to take myself this year. Like many of you, I have personal development goals that I really want to work on. Whether it's striving for a healthier work-life balance, managing stress more effectively, or just improving your mental well-being, setting goals is the first step toward making positive changes. Let's be real, sometimes achieving those goals can be hard, and that's where therapy comes in. They've been around for a while, and you've probably heard of them, but the process has improved immensely over the years, and that's why I'm excited for today's sponsor, BetterHelp. BetterHelp makes starting therapy easier and accessible for everyone. With over 30,000 licensed therapists in their network, they can match you with the perfect therapist based on your needs, preferences, and location, often within 48 hours. Whether you prefer traditional phone calls, video chats, or even messaging, they've got you covered. And if you ever feel like your therapist isn't quite right for you, you can switch it just with a click at no cost. Remember, investing in your mental health is one of the best decisions you can make. If you're ready to take charge of your mental health and start living a healthier, happier life, click the link in the description below or visit betterhelp.com slash Caleb Hammer. Okay, why'd you not go to the court? Why did you not go to the court and try to get custody of your kid from your mom? Because I feel like in my- In Kansas, before all the things happened. You wanted her back, why'd you not go the legal route? I don't- Said you just gave up. I don't know. Because I feel like she's better with my mom than she would be with me. Well, there you f go. KFC liquor store. Yeah, I drink a lot. You do? Not a lot, a lot, but I do drink. Well, it's a lot. When I can afford it, like once a week, I'll buy like a big bottle of What do you do, Nourishing. though? Because, I mean, you live in a car. Well, this is almost the hotel, so. I know, but you usually, what do you do? Like if I'm in the car? Yeah, are you drinking and driving? No, not driving, but I'll drink when I stop for the night. Throw the cans away. Jack in the box. Cash app out. I guess Steve must be the husband. He sends money. Jack in the box McDonald's. Jack in the box. Jack in the box. Vending machine. Based department. That's my brother. That's his name on cash app. So he sends me money too. You are being enabled. You are being enabled from all these people. You're just satisfied and you're okay with this lifestyle that's obviously terrible. And you could very easily work and look to try to get help with your own mental health help. You are choosing not to. You are choosing not to and all these people are enabling those choices. It's disgusting. Arco, Arco. That's uh, the gas station. Yeah, $3.75. I didn't have a lot of money to put in my gas tank. Then the checking account is negative five dollars, so it's probably like negative ten now. Great. It's not that bad. It can't be that bad. What the f are you on? What are you talking about? Are you that high? Are you that just like just right now? What are you talking about? This is like the word. This is like the. I'm still alive and I'm still kicking it. So it's like what? Well, I, that's great, and I'm happy about that. But I would also like you to be able to live. I am living. Ah! I came here from California, didn't I? Isn't that living? Okay, let's talk about health things. Statistically, you know, all I'm gonna say is this does not have the lo longest lifespan. It is not. So, what? What's our intent there? What's our intent there? We're living a very unhealthy life. Okay, and I am too, and I can be very open and honest about that. I, I'm try I, we're, we're eating healthier here, and I've done better things, and I'm down a few pounds. Good. Congratulations. Yay for me. Pat on the back. Lovely. What are we doing for you? Because I want you to be able to survive. So are you living? No, you're just barely surviving. I wouldn't even say you are. You're being enabled in different ways, and that money's going to just fast food, fast food, fast food, fast food, and alcohol, and weed, and I don't buy my yeah, but that's still just, that's all your life is, is just alcohol living in a car. Alcohol living in a car, not working. Alcohol living in a car, not working. I'm terrified for your health. I don't think you're living. I think you're barely just scraping by, and it's only because of the the heart of others. Of course, even though only 144 came in, 380 went out, 
Most of it was gas, 41.9% or $159 because, you know, you don't have car insurance, do you? No. It's illegal. I know. Buddy. I mean, you're just, you, your life is nothing. You've, oh my gosh. That, not in an insulting way. In an insulting way. I'm not like a, you are nothing. I don't mean it like that. I mean, like, you just, well, like the best way to say it is just like you've described, you've given up, so... I don't like begging for like money from people. I feel bad all the oh, time. Oh, you clearly don't feel bad enough I, because that's how you're surviving. Don't, don't, don't say that. Don't say that's disgusting. Don't say that. That's literally what you're doing. Don't say you feel bad. You feel disgusting. That's literally what you're doing. If you felt bad and felt disgusted, you'd be an adult for the first time in your life, and you'd go get a job and actually do something productive for the first time in your life. I've had jobs. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Look where we are now. Look where we are now. All that matters is now. You know, you could go be a piece of five years ago and be great now, and I would congratulate you for being good now because all that matters is where you are right now. You could have been good back then. You'd be a piece of now, and all I care is that you're being a piece of now because back then doesn't matter. All that matters is the present and what you choose to do in the future. Right now, you're being a child. You're being a child. I don't care if you find it disgusting or embarrassing that you ask for help that's all you do is beg for money from others and that's what you get instead of going and getting a job instead of sticking to a job does doordash not count as a job i didn't see doordash money coming in so i don't know what the f you're talking oh, about. oh because i have a doordash like card i just didn't send the statements for well, why because i wasn't doing doordash at the time i'm doing DoorDash. so can we count that as even doing doordash because you started doordash a couple days ago doesn't mean we're doing doordash well i it means was you starting you've done a couple dashes well when i was in portland i was making a lot of money how much is a lot of money what's a lot of money like 500 a week that's not a lot of money for me, it is. My I don't give a sh it's for you, for society, for what you need to survive. That's not a lot of money. Oh, I don't care about society. Yeah, no sh because you're not even participating in it. You don't even know what society is. You're so far beyond society in that you're going to rely on society eventually to take care of you. You're going to rely on all of us to take care of you because you've just, you've not cared. And you, you've just been a child. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is great. This is fantastic. 21.7% or $82.61 with the going out to eat because no 10 percent or 38 dollars in the subscriptions uh unknown shopping it's usually like walmart or whatever we just don't know what it is it was one percent miscellaneous bull you know 0.8 percent of the large purchases 4.8 percent or 18 dollars and 41 cents that's uh, planet fitness which makes sense in your situation google one was the three dollars not the zynga thing so oh. you're incorrect and twitter blue for eight dollars i think it's premium now isn't it um and then your phone is 19.7 percent or 75 dollars which was more than came in yeah at least i have a budget oh shut the f you gotta give me some credit at least i have a budget uh, budgets don't matter if you don't follow them budgets don't matter for a single second if you don't follow them you have insurance, but you don't have I insurance. had insurance to get my van out of impound, but I couldn't get my van out of impound. What is iPostal? That is like a virtual mailbox because I don't have a legal address. WWWY? Oh, I had to like get rid of that. That was for uh, the emo festival in Vegas. Twitter blue. You at least make that back. I'll give you credit for that. Google One, you probably need it. Planet Fitness, you definitely need it. You need it right now. Well, what's the point of having visible and T-Mobile? Well, the, the T-Mobile was for because I had a uh, I had a modem for like internet for my car because I have a laptop because I edit videos I do YouTube and you stuff. You can't uh, use visible connect to your phone. It's not fast. Yeah, but you're just talking about luxuries at this point. Fast or slow? Well, I don't have the T-Mobile anymore. I can't pay for it. VTuber hand motion? I couldn't pay for that anymore either. You can't pay for any of this. You don't make money. Nothing came in. Even on your best good month, which was not in what we saw, now you're just begging for money again. $500. In a very expensive area like Portland. It's not going to get you anywhere. Oh my gosh, okay. 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 Gets me far from just living in my car. It's not like I'm paying rent in Portland. The Again, gas I is don't think you understand. What happens when the car breaks? You think you're going to be leaning on other people, but what if it's a multi-thousand dollar transmission thing? What do you do? What do you, Legitimately, what do you do? What's your plan? You don't have a plan. What's your plan? Find somewhere to kick it and get a job. Because I have friends you, all over. What are you kicking? What are you kicking?
kicking. Like you're couch gonna surfing. How many friends do you have in Austin? In Austin, probably like two, three. Yeah, and they would actually re- they would want you to be there. And they would help. At a certain point, I think it's enablement, though. I wouldn't want you to be on the streets either, but you're literally choosing it. That's what's killing me. There's a lot of people uh, who are dealing with homelessness that it's not a choice. Yours is. And it's disgusting. I just wanted to get into van life. And then I lost the van. So now I'm back to car camping. Car camping? You call it camping? Yeah, yeah that's car a, camping. That's a, that's Google a, it. It's a thing. No, I, I, I bet it is. But I mean, you're, you're just homeless. Houseless. I have a home. The car is House my home. House and home. No. Home and house are two different things. Oh, okay. All right. Yes, I'm sure some people will socially be mad at me. That's fine. I don't give a You don't have a home. You don't have a house. You you're just, whatever. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It home doesn't is matter. wherever you go, it, Caleb. <laughs> it, all I'm saying is there are actual people. This is what it says to me because, you know, I, I can't believe I made it a point where I'm like considering shaming someone for being homeless. There's a lot of people that are not choosing because they have actual addiction issues that are so hard to quit because there's like a 1% chance of actually getting off of things like heroin and in the long term, like statistically, because it changes your brain chemistry so much that it's just so hard. People with mental health conditions that are basically intreatable because we just don't know anything about the brain and really the only thing we can do for that person is just put them in a place that they feel essentially trapped and it's terrible those are people that really have no other choice and they're just on the street and they just don't know what to do because half the time they don't even know what's going on but you are just choosing to milk people for money you are just choosing to allow the car to break down and then take advantage of your people who are nearby that you might know it's sad it's disgusting. You're throwing away your life. Well, even it's if I, n- what? Well, even if I got a job, I'd still be in my car because I don't want to pay fourteen hundred dollars a month for rent. Again, I could get I, a roommate. I'm not against I, the van life, but what you got going on there is not good. Yeah. It's dangerous. Yeah. It's dangerous. People have done van life, and that's what. I'm not opposed to that in concept if that's what you want to do. But again, right now. You're relying, if something breaks and something is going to break on that piece of shit, that someone else is going to take care of it out of the kindness of your heart. You're using other people. You're using other people instead of taking responsibility in your life. So I want to get a job out here so I could try and save money. I want you to. I, don't, I, I want you to, but you're probably just going to get a job and then you're going to have it for two weeks and that's it. I'm going to prove you wrong. Please do. I will prove you wrong. Oh, I hope you do. I hope I hope you do. We have a statistical. We took out some of the outliers uh, that you know, like sold something, and then they paid off a large amount of debt, or they have a super high income and they paid off a large amount of debt. We're just going with like our average statistical thing that within the course of seven months, people pay off eight thousand dollars of bad debt, eight thousand five hundred or something like that in seven months, an average for people who have been on the show. I want you to be that person. Less in the debt situation because, sure, I think you should morally take care of the things you've borrowed, but whatever. Uh, in terms of getting a safe van situation, in terms of actually getting a job, in terms of taking care of making sure you're set up for an emergency fund in case something happens on the van, you got to make sure you're taking care of that. In terms of not using other people in life, using. That's what I don't like. Again, I'm not like I – I don't want to shame someone for being um, homeless, but using other people when you're just choosing not to work – you're right. I want you to prove all that wrong. I want you to turn that around. I'm not going to get some sense of pride seeing you fail. That's disgusting. I feel disgusted and I feel so bad for you and my heart is breaking. So prove me wrong. Absolutely. And we can celebrate and I'll be so happy. So happy. But right now, I have... You're, you've given up. I've given up. I'm sad. I feel disgusted. I don't know what to do. I don't know what I could do to help you. I think you need to seek mental health help first and foremost, but you're not even willing to do that. So it's just like at some point, there's really nothing you can do for someone. And that's one of the first times that that's ever happened on this show. And that breaks my heart because you're a human being in this planet. I want you to do well and you don't give a to do well. And I can't convince you to. So 
okay, let's say hypothetically I get a job and I keep it. What's the first thing I should focus on paying down? I don't know if it's paying down. For you, I think, since everything's in collections, you need to have $10,000 saved up as quick as you can in case anything happens to that car because your life is that car. It's crazy. I need you to get your sh Maybe put it in a storage place and wherever you want your home base to be. You don't have to be there all the time with your lifestyle, but wherever your home base is, put it in a storage unit that you're, you know, like 20 bucks a month or something like that. Uh, 50 bucks even. Like, okay, fine. And then just get the divorce. <sighs> or don't, whatever. I don't just get your and stop taking advantage of people on just a moral level. Um, yeah, that $10,000... From there, you can at least take care of the car if something were to happen. From there, maybe start saving up for the van. But continue to work. I need you to, uh, once you have the van, even if you're traveling, uh, you're going to have to work your ass off to get a job that works with that. But I need you to set aside money for retirement. Minimum 20%. Because at some point, you might become disabled. At some point with the lifestyle you're living, to just to truthfully be honest, something medical is going to happen. I need to make sure you have proper insurances that you can meet deductibles <sighs> that when the day comes inevitably for everyone that you can't work for whatever reason that you have enough set aside that you're at least able to sustain the van life and what happens if all of a sudden you don't want to do the van life anymore you're 25 there's so much longer left in your life what what happens at that point i want to just go don't have enough Kansas. money I'd go back to Kansas. Well, you need to deal with that as well. So this is just like, first and foremost, $10,000. Take care of your in life. Start being a moral person and stop taking advantage of people in a disgusting manner. Grow up. Start contributing 20% to retirement so you at least have a nest egg. Is that Kansas? What? That tattoo? Is that what it says? No, it's my daughter's name. I do okay. have a storm chasing tattoo because I do storm chasing. That's like... Great. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, your entire life is a storm, so chase it out of town and fix it, finally. Any final thoughts? No, not really. Not, no. Great. Hammer Financial Scores 0 out of 10. Make sure to check out all the resources linked in the description below. They are what I use or would use in specific situations, including the best budgeting program that's ever existed online, which is at a massive discount right now all the way through Monday. Thanks to all of our Patreon producers for making this episode possible. If you want to participate in an episode of Financial Audit and you're able to make it to Austin, Texas, please fill out an application in the survey linked in the description below. You can also send a link to your friends or family who you think might be good to be on the show. If you have any questions, you can email casting at calebhammer.com.